Hi guys, my name is Silas and today I'm going to show you how to install Pandas in AWS Lambda. To do this, we're going to need AWS Cloud9 which is IDE for AWS and also at the end of this video, we're going to learn how to do this without having to go outside the AWS environment. Previously, I've seen a lot of people try to do this on YouTube. Some people are trying to do it by installing wheel files and I've done all that in the past but I still had issues because of dependencies. But in this video, the method we are going to use is a bit different and everything is going to be in the AWS environment. So let's start. Here, I have this Lambda function that I've created before. And I'm just going to come down here to show you the code snippet that I have. So I have this piece of code in Python. And this code, I'm going to try to run it without having pandas installed on this Lambda function. Okay, so now it says unable to import module. No module named pandas. This is because we don't have pandas installed or as a layer. So as you can see, we have JSON, we have pandas, we have butter tree, we have this other module that I'm using to scrape the web. And some of these modules are pre-installed in AWS Lambda, but most are not. And also, if you're going to be working with AWS Lambda and you're going to use Python, there's so many libraries out there that you would want to use that AWS doesn't have pre-installed. So how do you sort this issue out? Now, the only way to sort this out is to add those custom libraries or modules as a layer. As you can see, this is our the function and this is S3. Just ignore this one. But look at here, this is a layer. So you have to add those libraries as a layer. So we're going to come down here, scroll down and come to layers and click on add layer. But before that, what we need to do is to use AWS Cloud9, which is an IDE. So this is one of my favorite IDEs as to use it till today. This IDE lets you code or, you know, program in any language and is web based. So you don't need to install it on the machine and you can code from anywhere and also gives you the capability to collaborate with your colleagues. You're going to set this up and to do that, you're going to click get started. Now we have the cloud nine open. So these are previous environments I created in the past. I'm going to click on create environment. I'm going to call this test with today's date, which is 21st of January, 2023. You can call it any name that you want. And we're going to leave all the other options as they are. This is the free tier. It shouldn't cost you much because it's for educational purpose. I'm going to click on create because now we have it ready. Let's click on the environment that we just created now and then click on open cloud nine. Okay, now we have the IDE ready. I'm going to expand this to make the screen a bit bigger. We have to install these modules in Python 3.8 to correspond with the Lambda function that we have already. So to start, I'm going to install Python 3.8. And to do that, say sudo Amazon Linux, Linux extras, install Python 3.8. Okay, now we've installed Python 3.8. The next thing is to install pip. I call https slash bootstrap dot piper io slash get dot py guys do not worry about the commands i'm gonna put them in the description so now we've done this the next step is to type python 3.8 no python 3 get dot py take again and i go back and type user installed pip so the next step is to make a directory this directory is where we're going to install the modules that we are interested in and then afterwards we're going to zip the, the, the directory and then push it to lambda so to do that let's say make directory i'll call it python tutorials if you have a look here you would see the directory has been created let me a bit the next step is to install pandas inside this directory and to do that i'm gonna say python 3.8 pip install pandas that's the folder name what if they call it we call it tutorial can you pay attention here 
you would see that we've installed pandas and all its dependencies inside this folder i'm gonna install one more module that i'm interested in and that's shopify scraper so i'm gonna go up a bit a step and then i'm gonna install this i'm interested in and that is shopify script so instead of pandas i'm gonna paste the module name and i'll hit okay. attention here again you will see the module shopify script has been installed alongside pandas all these dependencies like dumpy and the rest they have all been installed inside this folder so the next step is to zip this folder up and to do that let's say that's gonna say zip zip dot dash dash zip dash r and i'm gonna call the zip file dot zip. then followed by the pi followed by the directory which is pi tutorial okay attention guys so guys we've managed the directory so if you have a look here you would see the directory has been zipped up so now we need to send this zip file or push it or publish it whichever term that you want to use to aws lambda and to do that i'm going to say aws lambda dash fashion dash layer name so i'm going to call this layer tutorial just to keep everything simple and then the next thing is to so zip b for slash tutorial that's the zip the name of the zip file tutorial dot zip compatible dash run times then python 3.8 and then the important thing is to remember the region where your aws lambda is so mine is EU West to London. Let me just go through this again to make sure that everything is okay. So it's AWS Lambda publish layer version layer net tutorial zip file file B tutorial zip compatible. No, there's a mistake here. So before the compatible, there should be double dash. I'm gonna go back again. So with that properly. So it's double dash compatible runtimes Python 3.8 dash dash region EU. Okay, that seems correct. I'm gonna hit enter yes and we've pushed this we've published this to aws lambda so you can look at the and the response that we have in json file okay if you look closely it tells you the layer name yeah it shows you also the version and the content inside so now let's go to aws lambda and see the magic so here we are in lambda we are gonna add this but let me go back again to avoid confusion so let's go back to our lambda function here and the layer that we created now and then run the code to do that we're gonna scroll down and we come to and we click on add layer and then choose custom layer and then choose that so which that we created and also version one because this is the first time you're doing it and click on add so now let's test our lambda function we can test and that's it job done no more errors and everything is working properly thank you so much guys if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to my channel so I'm going to produce more videos like this in future. Thank you so much. Bye.